Welcome back to Why RTE Won't Exist in 20 Years, Part 5. And today we're going to be looking at the TV license scam. They're trying to double it. They are trying to double the TV license. Says D Forbes, Director General of RTE. She says it's incredible value for money. So the TV license is currently 160 euro and they want to double it to 320 euro. Are they out of their fucking minds? And this all on top of the fact that RT is selling land now to actually stay afloat. They are selling a piece of Dunnybrook land that's going to be turned into housing, presumably. And they're selling it for an estimated market price of about 75 million. They are selling 8.65 acres of land to Savills uh, agents. It's they're selling it for 75 million now bear in mind that they made losses of 20 million last year and many many more millions the previous years beforehand so if they hadn't been so shit in the last four to five years they wouldn't have to be selling this land but they are because they're shit I imagine in the next few years what they're gonna have to sell off to actually stay afloat the lad, there's only gonna be like Ryan Toberty and Joe Duffy left when this place shuts up doors finally. When it actually closes and they'll be the ones turning the lights off and fucking locking the doors as a big truck comes in to just fucking level the thing. And so D Forbes referenced a model in Italy where the license fee is attached to the electricity bill which has, and I quote, greatly improved fee collections. It hasn't improved the TV or the quality of content that they're putting out. So essentially, they're just trying to squeeze you. That's all what it's about. Double the license fee, let go of more people, and give it another few more years of just pay, 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 more pay packets for the rich in order to eat. Squeeze the middle class incomers for money, double it them, tax them. You gotta get that money, let go of the ordinary people, sell that land, whatever it takes to make Ryan Tuberty's half a million and Joe Duffy's half a million. You better do that shit now, straight away. Who gives a fuck about quality of content? Latch that shit onto their electricity bill. Oh, they're not paying their electricity bill? Well, fucking take it out of their laptops and their iPods. They've got a laptop and an iPod, right? John Burton said that she saw somebody with an iPhone once. What the fuck is happening? They're trying to basically tax you now if you have an iPod, an iPhone, any sort of electronic equipment that has nothing to do with RTE. That they're just going to claim, oh you must be online, logging on to RTE 24-7. Even though more people log hours with YouTube than they ever do with fucking RTE and Facebook. They're on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter. They're streaming other things than RTE. Have you ever tried to stream something from RTE's player? It's a fucking joke. It crashes all the time, it freezes, it's ad ridden. She more or less finished up by saying it's a case of adapt or die and that's where we at now. Please fucking die RTE. Fall on your sword. You failed. If I met the amount of losses that you did at work, 20 million last year, who makes a loss of 20 million and still manages to say to their their customers or their clients well we've been doing such a great job we're gonna double it because we think it's great value for money well the rest of the country don't and you don't believe it either because your quality of content is shit and you know it but she's right adapt or die and i'm for all for you fuckers just dying please or to eat just die don't try and restructure don't try and sell land and let jobs go you're wasting people's money just fucking die already rot you're a rotting corpse that's trying to you're the walking dead over here just fucking die die please join me again in part six as we continue to catalog the failures and the catastrophe that is rte radio telefiche Aaron. take care of yourself bye bye